piercing friends and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be continuing on with my refilming of my old piercing videos. I aren't really that great of quality. You can't really see. I'm kind of awkward on camera and I'm just going to kind of refilm them so you know you guys can see better and just kind of like update those videos a little bit. So as you can tell by the title, this one is going to be how to change out your belly button piercing. Belly button piercings are probably by far the most popular and the most asked piercing I get asked about on a daily basis. I get a lot of questions on when can I change my belly button piercing? How do you do it? Does it hurt? Et cetera, et cetera. So basically I want to be showing you how to take out and put in a belly button piercing. We're going to get right up close into my belly button. For all of you perverts out there, you know, disgusting comments will get deleted. And if you're really disgusting, I will block you because we don't need that. This is just a very informative video. I'm basically going to be showing you, you know, how to do it. And that's it. I'm just, this is just for educational purposes. First things first, I just want to say is I am not a professional piercer. I am just someone who is an everyday chick who likes to get piercings. And I'm just going to kind of show you how I do it. I've had my belly button pierced for eight years now, about eight years I've had my belly button pierced. So I've had quite a large amount of experiences with my belly button piercing as far as healing goes and changing it and all that good stuff. And then the other thing I wanna say is if you're someone out there who has a fresh belly button piercing, the first thing I'm gonna say is if you're watching this video because you want to change your belly button piercing now, I just wanna say do not change your belly button piercing for at least six to 12 months. Belly button piercings can be very finicky. They do have a pretty high rejection rate for some people. My belly button piercing, I have gotten very lucky. I have never dealt with any sort of rejection. If you do change it too early, you will run into problems such as, you know, infection, irritation, rejection, migration, and none of that stuff is good. You really wanna make sure that you are being patient with your piercings and that you're being patient with your belly button piercing. So whatever jewelry that you get initially when you do get your belly button pierced, make sure that you do leave it in for the appropriate amount of time. I personally, six to 12 months or even longer if you're someone who is a slow healer like myself. So without further ado, let's take you down south and I will show you how to remove and change your belly button piercing. Okay, so here is my belly button piercing. I got this pierced back in 2011 and it is currently 2019. So I've had my belly button pierced for quite a few years now. As you can see, the skin is a little bit thinner than it used to be. That is not anything that is super uncommon with belly button piercings. Just over the years, the piercing just kind of, you know, thins out and moves a little bit closer to the surface. Everyone's belly button piercing looks different. No one has the same anatomy. No one has the same body type, you know, so everyone's piercing is going to be a little bit different. So the first thing I want to say before you even begin to do this, make sure that you, of course, wash your hands. Make sure that the jewelry that you want to put in is clean, fresh, sterilized, all that good stuff. The belly button ring that I currently have in is an internally threaded 14 gauge barbell. It is just a curved barbell or a banana bar or whatever you want to call it. I usually get all of my body jewelry off of body candy. So the first thing you're going to want to do is of course take out the belly ring. So first I'm going to show you how to put it in and then I'll show you how to take it out. So here is what my belly looks like without the piercing in. As you can see, we have the exit hole and then right underneath here, we have the entrance hole. Yes, I do have a little bit of hair on my belly. I am a human, I am a mammal, you know, it happens. And I'm a little cold, so I have goosebumps coming and going. So just, <laughs> just try to ignore that, okay? I'm not perfect, I'm definitely flawed, I don't have a perfect body. But yes, this is what my belly button looks like without the piercing in it. Of course, you can very obviously see where it has migrated. You can see the original hole right here, and then the fresh hole is right here. So it definitely has moved a little bit in the last eight years, which is totally fine. That's very normal. Of course, if it were to get any thinner, I would of course take it out, let it fully heal, and possibly get it re-pierced. I will do a video talking all about getting piercings redone or getting piercings re pierce if you did have a piercing that did reject etc etc so I will do a video on that for you guys eventually down the line once you have clean hands and clean jewelry and you're ready to change out your belly button piercing it is time to put in the new one 
So for me, when I first started changing out my piercings, I would use a little bit of lubrication, whether that be H2 Ocean or some sort of sea salt soap or even just water to kind of help the jewelry go through the hole a little bit better. Now, typically with belly button piercings, you're gonna be going in from bottom to top instead of top to bottom. That kind of all depends on the style of the belly button ring that you're gonna be putting in. Some styles, they like waterfall belly button rings, they do go from top to bottom, but typically Typically, if you are going to be changing your belly button piercing, it will go from bottom to top. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the barbell like this and you're going to want to put it straight underneath where the entry hole is and you're just going to kind of very lightly poke around and you will be able to feel when you get it into the hole and when you're not. So once you find that spot, you're just going to very lightly push up and once you do that, you will start to see it come out the top like that. Then of course, you're gonna to wanna to take the top of the belly button ring, which is the little jewel. And since the belly button ring that I'm currently wearing is internally threaded, the top of the jewel is gonna have a little bit of a screw. So just very lightly push up on the barbell so you have a good grip. And then you're gonna to wanna to find the hole. And then the rule righty tighty lefty loosey applies to your jewelry. So once you get it in and twist a little bit, just keep twisting until you get it nice and tight. You wanna make sure that your piercings are nice and tight, that way they don't go anywhere or fall out. And that is how you change out your belly button piercing. Make sure you don't twist it too, too tight so you ruin the jewelry, but make sure it is tight enough so it doesn't go anywhere. So once you do that, that is how you put in a belly button piercing. And then when you go to take it out, you basically just grab the bottom of the piercing, grab the top, and now again, this kind of all depends on the style of belly button jewelry that you have. Sometimes the bottom unscrews and sometimes the top unscrews. More than likely it is gonna be the top that unscrews, but if you do have one where it is the bottom, you will do the exact same thing, but just going from top to bottom. But since this one is you know, this style, um, I just like to grab the bottom, kind of untwist to the left so you get it all the way out. And then when you go to take it out, just very, very gently pull from the bottom and you will start to feel it come out like that. I'll show you one more time how to put it in. So you just go from the bottom, nice and straight, find the hole, and like I said, you will be able to feel once you get it in, and then just very lightly push up like that, and then take the top of the jewelry, find the hole, put it in, and then just twist like that. And you should have absolutely no pain whatsoever. If you are having pain when you are changing out your belly button piercing, it is either not healed yet or you have something else going on. So make sure that when you are doing this, you feel absolutely no pain. That's really, that's all there is to it guys. Really, really quick and easy and really simple. I really, really hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, I just want to welcome you. Make sure you go down and subscribe. I do upload every three to four days on my channel. Make sure you follow me on all my social medias that I have linked right here and in the description box. Until then, I will see you guys very, very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.